Soapbox Science is an initiative to raise the profile of women working in STEM. So that's in science, technology, engineering, maths and medicine. And we decided to bring it to Brighton so that we could showcase all the brilliant work that female scientists are doing in the South East. The experience was quite exhilarating. Uh, I was very, very nervous to start with because I didn't know who was going to be there. But actually the audience came in, they started to engage, they started to ask questions and really sort of start to take ownership of it. I was sponsored to invest in a big prop. Uh, so I had a giant floor map of the North Atlantic. So I went through a, a story of, of the North Atlantic and our, our hazardous history that most people are unaware of. It was a really, really good event today. I thought it was good fun. Everybody's enjoying themselves and the speakers were excellent. I heard about Soapbox Science in September when they first started planning it and I know how important it is to try and promote women in science and try and get people to see that ladies do science. So I was really engaged in it from the beginning. Interacting with the public, not just um, talking about my work by myself, but actually getting feedback from them, them asking questions, wanting to know a bit more. It was quite good fun. There's a kind of a good buzz down here on Brighton Seafront. We all have to, these days, be able to communicate our science, not just to our peers, but to the general public. So it's a really good experience in doing that. And it's just nice to see people's interest. We spend a lot of time talking to other academics, and that's one type of language. But I think it's also really important that we can make sure that our own research is relevant to the public and that they see the benefit. It shows you know, how enthusiastic young people are, especially about getting women into science and uh, maths education. And I think that it will encourage people in the future. You do science most of the time because you love it. And sharing that enthusiasm with someone, you never know, you could potentially inspire someone to become a scientist.